Planning a security system layout can be complex when considering the length of the wire runs and the devices that will connect to the security system's auxiliary power. Knowing the device's power requirements and the security system's auxiliary power limitations can help ease installation issues. When the power exceeds what the security panel can support or your wire runs are longer than suggested, an external power supply should be added to resolve power issues. Hello, I'm Cheryl with Presidio. In today's video, we'll cover why, when, and how to use an external power supply with your security devices. Let's start with the why. When powering multiple devices, each hardwired security system provides limited power and current from auxiliary power. Every device that wires to the system requires specific power and current to function properly. Security systems also have wiring limitations. If the wire run is too far, the device won't receive enough power to operate properly. An external power supply solves this problem. The why is easy to understand. The security system's power output is limited, so a power supply allows more devices and longer wire runs. So how do you know when to use an external power supply? Figuring out when is going to take a little bit of math. We must consider the amount of auxiliary power the security panel supports and the power and current each device requires. The installation instructions, data sheets, or summary of connections list the power requirements for every device and security system. You want to add all of the device's current requirements together. If that total exceeds the auxiliary power supplied by the security system, you need an external power supply. Let's look at the system and devices we have here. This security panel offers an auxiliary power output of 600 milliamps. All devices have standby power requirements and in-use power requirements. When adding current together, always use the number when the device is at the highest current draw to ensure you have enough power to supply all the devices. This alpha keypad with RF built-in requires 50 milliamps on standby and 150 milliamps when the keypad is in alarm. Each touchscreen keypad requires 270 milliamps and the 4219 zone expander requires 30 milliamps in use. Let's add the maximum current draw of all connected devices together. Our alpha keypad is 150 milliamps. Since we have two touchscreen keypads, we add 270 milliamps twice. Lastly, we add our 4219 with the 30 milliamps. This gives us a total of 720 milliamps. Given that the panel can only support up to 600 milliamps, we need an external power supply. So now let's cover how to connect these devices with a power supply. This is the AD12612 AUX power supply with battery backup. It provides 1.2 amps of current and will support devices that require 6 to 12 volts DC. The external power supply has four screw terminals. Two are for AC power and two are for DC power. To power the external power supply, it will need a separate transformer from the security system. This specific power supply requires 16.5 volts AC with a 40 VA minimum. The DC power terminals will go to the negative and positive of the devices connecting to it. The most crucial thing to remember when using a power supply with a security device is to run a common ground wire between the security system's aux negative to the power supply DC negative. Let me show you what I mean. Take a wire and wire it into the DC negative of the power supply here. Connect the other end of this wire to the aux negative on the security system here. You may be asking yourself, why would I need to do this? Connecting the negative terminal of the external power supply to the negative terminal of the security system's auxiliary power creates a common electrical reference for both power sources. This ensures that the devices powered by the external power supply can properly interact with the security system. This will help alleviate issues on those devices such as ECP errors on the touchscreen keypads, slow response on the alpha keypad, and loss of communication on other devices. And that's how you connect an external power supply to the security system. Thanks for watching.